hello there on my screen you can see one of the request we had received from an anacad users they are using nanocad and they had requested for some additional functions in nanocad what they want is to put one sequential variables before each and every linear dimensions they use in a drawing so this is how they actually want the dimension should look like d1 for this one and d2 d3 d4 and so on so this is how they actually want to identify one specific linear dimensions in the drawing so in nanocad we can basically manipulate to some extent and provide this kind of additional functions to the users to enhance their traditional cad work so let's see how we can provide this kind of solutions in nanocad basically we are not going to put sequential uh, variables in each of the uh, linear dimensions but we will make something some list of these dimensions so they will be allowed to list out all of the dimensions they are using in a drawing and they can point out some informations they need from that particular table so go to nanocad now so i am just uh, using nanocad pro 10 so i have i have nanocad uh, pro 10 install as you can see i have nanocad pro 10 so i just uh, go to open and use this file so where i have some geometrical primitives as you can see i have four different rectangles i have one inclined line and table so this table is basically one nanocad table so it's it's holding all the properties of nanocad uh, table functions right so here as you can see that i have this rectangle and these are two different uh, one is uh, horizontal and the vertical linear dimensions are listed in the table right now in the list as you can see the number value and the scale this header could be anything it could be anything uh, from the dimension styles all the variables you can set in this list depending upon your need so basically now i need the dimensional value and the scale of that particular dimension style it could be even the dimension style in the list so on this case i need the value of the dimensions and the scale and the total number of dimensions linear dimensions are used in this drawing right so now if i go to annotate and use the dimensions tools like linear dimension so i can use uh, the linear dimensions to dimensions this horizon horizontal line and this vertical side of the rectangle and i'll use this vertical and the horizontal one so this one So now even for the inclined line, if I uh, try to find out the linear length between this uh, end, start and end point, so this is the length. So if I move out from the dimensions command, so it should get listed automatically. So let's press skip so now it is listed right suddenly if i need to remove one dimension say i'm removing one dimensions so the list should get updated automatically and now if i need to use a uh, stretch functions to make the rectangle even bigger so the dimensions will update that's for sure and uh, the value will change and that should reflect so you can have a look on the table the moment I 
click it should get update so as you can see the number sixth linear dimensions were updated automatically right so this is working as expected uh, now if i go to this align dimension so i'll try to use this dimensions to dimension the align objects line and make scape out from the command so it is listed now right so this list can be sent to anyone separately from the drawing as a document format for instance you can use excel and other different document formats supported by nanocad so these are these are basically uh, some advanced functions that we can use in nanocad to generate th this kind of tables and uh, you know help the cad users right as i said that the table could be anything depending upon the requirements of the users so it can be customized right so if you if you are interested of this kind of functions and you need more information you can always comment or you can send request on uh, to support to know more about this kind of functions in nanocad thanks thank you very much uh, for your time see you later bye bye